Hello all. Welcome to the program Know Your Government by Neo IAS, an initiative where we pick a government scheme, elaborate on its content and is followed by a question which is in line with the UPSC pattern. Today we will look into a scheme which is known as the Accessible India Campaign. Accessible India Campaign or Sugamya Bharat Abhyan. Sugamya Bharat Abhyan. Accessible India Campaign is also known as Sugamya Bharat Abhyan. This was a program which was launched by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment have launched this program way back in 2015. What is this? This is basically a nationwide campaign for achieving universal accessibility for persons with disabilities to ensure that all those people who are having a physical disability to them access the systems and structures of our nation in place is something which this program has been in this age up to. The key objective of this one is to ensure a dignified life for the person with disabilities or who are also known as Divyangans to ensure that they are also able to lead a independent life like a normal person so that you know they are also able to live in a very dignified and calm manner in our nation. Aim of the campaign is to make a barrier free and conducive environment for Divyangans all over the country to ensure that for a person with disability or for a Divyangan for him to achieve his normal routines or to, or to carry on with his normal routines as a citizen in our nation, he should not face any barrier to or for the happening of the same. That is some, one of the key objective which this program is going to address. That is the Sugamya Bharat Affair. Now, the campaign is based on the principle of the social model of disability. The principle of social model of disability. The principle of social model of disability basically means that disability can be seen or perceived as how the society has been basically seeing it into or society has been basically acting on up into. Disability is caused by the way society is organized and not the person's limitations or empowerments. So, government is trying to address that angle wherein which the societal structure has been made much more friendly to people with, with disabilities. The vision of the program is to build an inclusive society, to build an inclusive society so that Divyangans are also included in the main forefront in our society so that they are also able to carry on a very dignified life is the key objective of Sugamya Har Abhair. Then, this program has got basically three key components. The first one is built environment accessibility, built environment accessibility. Second one, transportation system accessibility, transportation system accessibility and third one is information and communication ecosystem accessibility, information and communication ecosystem accessibility. So to ensure that the Divyangans have accessibility in a well fulfilled manner in all these three segments is something that the program has been clearly planning up to. Let us now see the details of each one of this. Before that, what are the key objectives of this program? The key objectives of this program would include first one enhancing the proportion of accessible government buildings, enhancing the proportion of accessible government buildings so that they, the, the, the Divyangans are also able to get their things done in a government office without the support system or without any additional care given to them by a person. Enhancing proportion of accessible airports. Third one is to enhance the proportion of accessibility of railway stations, enhancing the proportion of accessible public transport. So we have now seen four things. First one was to enhance the proportion of government buildings. Second one, the airports. Third one, the railway stations. Fourth one, the public transport accessibility is the fourth one. Now, enhancing proportion of accessible and usable public documents and websites, especially for people who are blind they will be finding it tough to understand the government systems and machineries which has been published through the government website. So to tap into that part is also something which is taken care under this program. Then enhancing the pool of sign language interpreters, sign language interpreters so that the people 
who are unable to understand or to see the normal things can also now get a better knowledge of the government machineries and system in place and last one is to enhancing the proportion of daily captioning and sign language interpretation of public television news programs so, so especially in the public television news program to enhance the proportion of the sign language interpreters being put up into so that the, the disabled people can also clearly perceive and understand what is happening across now the built environment accessibility basically means to create an ecosystem where in which the accessible part is being taken care in a very clear manner that is to eliminate obstacles and barriers to indoor and outdoor facilities especially in schools medical facilities workplaces etc so that the, the divyangans can also carry on their life in a, in a very effective and productive manner this would not only include buildings so we have already seen that you know taking care of the government buildings is one of the key part but this one is not restricted to the government buildings only but also to the accessible areas like the footpaths curb cuts obstacles that block the flow of pedestrian traffic so a comprehensive development of the infrastructure facilities to facilitate the normal smooth life of the divyangans is something which is envisaged under this one now the built environment accessibility also has the enhancing the proportion of accessible government building so first their plan was to ensure that 50 percentage of the all the government buildings in the national capital and all the state capitals that to be made clearly accessible to the people was something which they have been planned upon one second thing is in this process conducting an audit mechanism to ensure that or setting up of an audit mechanism to ensure about the Uh, built-in accessibility in these government buildings was also planned under this. Now, subsequently, apart from the capitals, they are now planning to identify ten most important cities or towns of all states, which has been not including the capital, so that in those areas also the built-in accessibility part to be taken care, and that is now being targeted to complete the activity by 2019 July. Now. transportation system accessibility that is enhancing proportion of accessible airports so accessible airport their initial objective was to take care about both auditing as well as the accessibility of the international airports and subsequently extending that to the domestic airports by march 2018 was what is planned when the scheme has been put into place then enhancing the proportion of accessible railway stations again in railway stations the initial plan was to focus upon a1 a and b categories of railway stations in the country or those are the stations which has been classified depending upon the traffic depending upon the volume of uh, rail commutation which has been happening etc now subsequently 50% of the railway stations in the country are to be converted into fully accessible railway stations by March 2018 is also something which was envisaged. So the airport part, then the railway station part. Now enhancing the proportion of accessible public transport so that a divyangan can carry on their locomotive part without depending upon anybody. Ensuring that 25 percentage of government on public transport carriers in the country are converted into. fully accessible carriers was also one of the key objective of this program now in the forefront of information and communication ecosystem accessibility their objective was enhancing proportion of accessible and usable public documents so one focus is to give up on to public documents and next one is to the websites so both public documents and public websites accessibility to disabled person so that you know they can read and understand the content without depending anybody was one of the key objective in this one so in this one and that has been envisaged to meet internationally recognized accessibility standards as well now conducting the accessibility audit for both government websites and that is you know including both central government websites and state government websites as well as ensuring the same for public documents that is ensuring that at least 50 percentage of all public documents issued by the central and state governments meet accessibility standards by march 2018 was also something which was included in this program 
then enhancing the pool of sign language interpreters so in this training and developing 200 additional sign language interpreters by march 2018 was something which was conceived when this program has been uh, really been proposed upon in 2015 and also enhancing the proportion of daily captioning and sign language interpretation of public television news programs so especially in public television news program the enhancing the proportion of this sign language interpreter so that people with disability you know, it can be disability in, in terms of their vision loss or in hearing loss or in other physical disability in all those aspects this kind of a support system would help this divyangans to understand the news related aspect in a better manner now in that one enhancing the proportion that is they are doing that mainly through two ways the first way is to adoption of a national standard adoption of a national standards on captioning and sign language interpretation so because of this national standard being put up into place then that is the first part and second thing is to ensure that 25 percentage of all public television programs aired by the government channels meet these standards so in public television programs these standards are also met to something which has been clearly planned upon in this initiative so in a nutshell accessible india campaign or sugamya bharat avayan is one of the key initiative by the government to ensure both built-in system accessibility information and communication ecosystem related accessibility or as well to ensure that the people with disabilities are able to carry on their life in a very dignified manner without depending upon anybody that is the crux of this key now you will now see a question which is based on this with reference to sugamya bharat abhayan which of the statements given below is or are correct statement one information and communication ecosystem accessibility is also identified as a component in this initiative usually you know when a person who have not gone through the, gone through the scheme sees such a question he will have a normal thought that okay, information related communication accessibility and how can it be of much relevance to a person with physical disability so there is a higher possibility that those people who have not gone through the scheme can opt the first statement as wrong but actually this is also included which is making the first statement true second one this is a program by the ministry of road transport and highways no we have seen that this is a program by the ministry of social justice and empowerment so which is making statement one true and statement two false so that is giving the answer as option a one only thank you so much